Worth it, I'd be the one to say. But at one point, I thought I hated soccer. Mad at all my coaches, felt betrayed. I felt like I didn't get what I deserved. But then led me to ask myself, should I quit soccer? Maybe it's time to find something else. What is up, guys? Today, we're gonna be talking about how I love soccer, how all of a sudden I wanted to stay away from it. It doesn't really make sense, does it? Well, I hope this video kind of explains a little more. I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the video. Peace. Forever, I've played soccer, and I've never gone any of my time without playing. I grew up playing in the local team. I grew up having training Monday through Friday, games on the weekend. My life was pretty packed out every day of the week. It was exactly how I wanted it to be, and I didn't think anything was ever going to change. I actually thought that I was going to go on to play at the next level and play professionally. My childhood dreams were going to continue on, and I'd fulfill my goal of being a professional athlete. But life doesn't always work that way. It unravels itself in ways that you may not understand it sometimes. After multiple trials, long flights, conversation and self-doubt i began to ask myself is it time and to be honest with you i don't know if there's any kind of right answer to that question of some people who say the right time for them to kind of move on into their life is 26 who say it's 28 some people say it's 21 everyone kind of moves at different speeds for me at the point in time where i was at i think after hearing so many no's i began to ask myself maybe this really isn't possible i don't have any money right now to even afford to go on trial every team that i've tried out for wants to sign me but doesn't have the budget to sign me is that supposed to be a message that i'm supposed to be taking you know what maybe this isn't the right place and time maybe this isn't what my calling is in life maybe i'm supposed to be going a different route and i didn't know and now i'm here in my tech sales career and i'm really really enjoying it you know what there's definitely been moments where i wanted to stay as far away as i can from the game as possible not because i hate the game not because i feel regret not because i'm mad or angry at anyone specifically you know that feeling when you go through a breakup you know seeing that person sucks talking to that person sucks because it brings back all those memories you know it kind of has a special place in your heart well as weird as it sounds that's kind of what i was going through and for me it was really tough because everyone in my immediate circle in my life is involved in the game that's great i'm their biggest fan I'll always root for them i'll be there whenever they need it i'll train i'll go i'll support whatever i'll always be that way for me it came a time where you know reflecting back on it i began to ask myself why didn't things go my way why didn't that coach like me what did i do wrong because on paper working hard staying after practice getting there before practice putting the extra work in those were all things that i did i began to ask myself why not me why not why didn't things go my way? Why couldn't I move on to play the next level? And I really struggled with not knowing what else I would do without the game. So as I would watch other people achieve all their aspirations, I began to kind of resent the game. But I wanted to just stay as far away as I could because I didn't want to be around it. I didn't want to be attached to it. I didn't want to feel this is something that I know I could be doing, but I didn't get my chance. I don't, I don't even know if it makes sense what I'm saying, but I really just didn't want to have to think about the fact that I was an athlete, that I was a soccer player. That was no longer attached to my name. It was all in the past now. That was something that was pretty tough for me to really comprehend and come to a reality. That's not me anymore. That's always going to be part of my past and part of my experiences, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, now I'm onto different things and different challenges in my life that hopefully open up different doors and lead to different roads to success. For anyone who may be feeling that, I wanted to make this video because I feel like it's a real feeling that people go through in that breakup phase of their sport, kind of not knowing what's next, not knowing what that feeling is going to be like, kind of detaching yourself from essentially all that you knew. I think it's a work in progress, like any other breakup that you've experienced. So I hope you found value in this video. I hope you can relate to this video. I really appreciate you watching and stay tuned because there's tons more coming. Peace.